This is the skill tree. This is where you set, spend your skill points after each level up to make you a better heister. There are four skill trees. Mastermind, Enforcer, Technician, and Ghost. Each one plays differently, and each one has different strengths and weaknesses crucial to completing tough heists. Starting with the Mastermind, he is usually seen as the leader and controller of the heist. He has skills towards keeping control of the civilians, taking over the control of the police, and even making you a better heister. The Enforcer tree needs little explanation. He takes the biggest gun, he takes the biggest armor, and he's ready to go. He kills as many people as he can see. Nothing more, nothing less. He's your tank, he's your fighter, he's your frontline man. The Technician class often brings those little intangibles that makes a heist go much smoother. Whether it be C4, better drills, or even sentry gun, anything mechanical, the technician is a master of. And finally, the ghost tree. And as the name would imply, this is the master of sneaking around and finishing a heist undetected. He has a variety of skills designed to finish a heist without any guard being alerted and no civilians even knowing you're there. Whether it be the ability to lockpick safes or using ECMs as key cards, the ghost can get in and out without anyone the wise. To start leveling in any of the four skill trees, you first need to purchase the prerequisite skill. For example, in the mastermind tree, the prerequisite skill is the health bank. To purchase any skill, you do need spending cash. The higher up this tree you go, the more it costs. If you want to respect your skill tree at any point, you can, and you'll get a large sum of money back in return. But, okay, now. You can learn each skill two times in the basic and ace form. When you learn a skill a second time, aka ace a skill, you often get better rewards. For example, in endurance, when you basic the skill, you increase your stamina by 100%. You can then purchase the skill again for more money and more skill points and get a second bonus of increasing the stamina for you and your crew by 50%. As you climb a skill tree, you will unlock what is called tier bonuses. Once you unlock the, unlock the next tier, you will get the tier bonus that it describes. For example, under tier two under Mastermind, it says it increases your stamina for you and your crew by another 15%. Keep an eye on the tier bonuses. Even though the bonuses are small, you can acquire a lot of them. For each of the first three tiers in any skill tree, each skill costs one and three skill points respectively. One skill to basic and three skills to ace. However, when you get to tiers four, five, and six, this changes. The cost and skill points to basic now becomes four skill points, and the skill points to ace a skill becomes eight. You only have 120 skill points max, so you run out fairly quickly. Plan out your build ahead of time so you know where you want to go with your heisting career. Keep in mind, you are not locked to one skill tree. You can mix and match your skill points however you please between the four trees. For example, if you want to take 40 points in Mastermind, 40 in Enforcer, and 40 in Technician, you can do this. If you want to take 60 in Enforcer and 60 in Ghost, you can do that as well. There's no limitations to what skills you can take and wh when you take them so long as you stay under the 120 skill point limit.